Well, a power struggle seems to be behind some of the firings of some top executives at Starkey Laboratories. A lawsuit filed on Friday says the eight longtime employees were fired as retaliation because one of them refused to promote Bill Austin's stepson. Brandon Sawalich is the son of Austin's wife, Tani. The lawsuit says that Starkey President Jerry Rizika refused to promote Sawalich from his current job as Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing to President of U.S. Operations because he was not qualified. Esme Murphy is here with more details of the lawsuit that I understand paints really an unflattering picture of both Bill Austin and his stepson. It absolutely does, Amelia. The lawsuit, which was filed by Starkey's former senior vice president, Keith Guggenberger, says Brandon Sawalich, quote, spends the company's money like water and that Bill Austin lashes out and yells at employees. Guggenberger is asking for damages in excess of $10.9 million. The lawsuit says that Brandon Sawalich never graduated from college and uses Starkey funds to support a lavish lifestyle, including a 40th birthday at George Washington's home in Mount Vernon, which was attended by guests from around the country, many of whom traveled at Starkey expense. The lawsuit says Bill Austin's public persona of caring only for his hearing aid patients and having celebrity friends help him raise money to provide hearing aids for the poor is in sharp contrast to his harsh treatment of employees. Marshall Tannock represents Jerry Ruzica, the fired executive who refused to promote Brandon Sawalich. Tannock says the Guggenberger lawsuit claims are essentially accurate. Much of what is alleged there seems to be the way that this uh, situation did play out at the time the uh, executives were fired. Tannock says that a Starkey statement after the firing saying there was an ongoing investigation into the fired employees was defamatory by suggesting the employees had done something wrong. Tannock also agrees with the Guggenberger lawsuit's point that it was the fired executives who built Starkey into the $800 million company it is today. Bill Austin has said publicly he devotes himself almost exclusively to fundraising and patients and has almost nothing to do with the business side of the company. I haven't written a check since August 1970. I don't know who writes my checks. I have no idea and I don't care. Now, Marshall Tannock says he and his client have not yet decided whether they will file their own lawsuit. We did reach out to Starkey and did not hear back. Starkey has not yet filed a response to this lawsuit in court, Amelia. How about the other employees who were fired? Do, do you know if they filed a lawsuit or not? You know, so far, this is the only lawsuit that has been filed in this case. All right. Thank you, Esme.